Alright guys, it's been a while since I made a tutorial. Feel free to follow along or just look down in the description below if you get lost. I'll try my best to be precise and explain everything thoroughly. No drama spaghettis this time, I promise. I hope. I've been receiving plenty of comments complaints regarding about the Interframe GUI program. Most of the error people run into during is the installation process. They receive an error and mentions that they are missing files, which holds the installation process. Just to clear shit up, I'm sorry to say that the Interframe GUI server is down. It's been like this for a while too. It seems the developer might have just given up on the project and it is now in non-existence. He pretty much trashed it. Don't worry, it's not the end of the world just yet. There are plenty of programs out there, but they require more work. In this tutorial, I will teach you guys another method. It might be the same as the previous one because we are getting and using the same programs as I mentioned. Feel free to go back if you missed something. And remember to follow everything I do. If you miss a step, it will be fatal. Just kidding. You just gotta do everything all over from scratch. Alright, let's begin, shall we? So you will need these files right here. See this? I will include a download in the description. Pause the video and go grab it. I will give you guys like 20 seconds to get all of them. Go, hurry! Just kidding. In this file right here, it will include everything you need that I compressed myself. You see how nice I am? So you should have about 5 files in this whole um, .rar file. To extract it, you gotta go get RINRAR. I assume most of you guys got it, right? Now the first step, I want you to extract this file right here. The one called files, with the one with the date. So extract the file right here. Go inside of it. Open that up. And um, install AVI synth. Um, should I do it? Why not? Oh, remember, if you're on a Windows 10 or Windows 8, make sure you run as admin. So click agree. Yeah, okay, yeah. Down click check all these. I'm not gonna press next because I already have it, so it's no point. But after that you should be good. Now I want you to extract the Magui one, the Magui file. Extract that. And you get this. Next uh, Open up Magui. And you want to go to Options, Update. They want to check all these. So you just right click. Oh, shit. Well, I already have everything all updated, so there's no point. But yeah, you should get prompted with an update. I don't have it because I already have all the updates. If you get an error or message, just ignore it. So once it updates, uh, close the program. You want to put this folder you made inside your local disk. Either be your C drive or um, externals, anywhere you want, you know. I would put it in program files because it will be easier to navigate. So you will put it in program files if you have a 32-bit. And if you have a 64-bit, you'll put in the 86. I have a 64 bit, so I'll put it in this one. Rename it to just Magui and just drop it in. So I already have it, so there's no point in replacing it. it. Should be it should be like this. Next, I want you to go back into that that file where your AVI synth was in, the installer. Go inside of it, and you see this folder called Tools, right? Copy and paste this plugin, the AVI synth, inside Magui. So paste it right here, and that's pretty much it. That finishes that part. Next, you want to install Klyte Codec Package. Remember to run as admin. And throughout this video, I will keep stressing on how important it is to run everything as administrator. It is very important. If you have a Windows 10 and Windows 8, I mean. But still, it's always a nice habit to run as stuff as admin. So I'll do that. Now I'm gonna I have this error because I already have the program and plus I have something that might conflict with the codec package. So I would not I won't proceed any further with this because it'll pretty much mess everything up for me. But you should get this as the first thing when you open it up on the installer. 
you want to select I guess advance I think you pick normal but j j just pick advance and the next image you should get is this where you want to install the codec to in location of course there'll be in your program files and then the next part this part is really important all right so you want to change where you see profile one default right you want to click on that drop menu and find something called profile nine called lots of stuff make sure you pick that one after that press next it should install and you should be good so after that it should finish now you want to head back into magui like this Press Control R when you're right here, and you'll get this AVI Synth Script Creator. Press Config, and you'll get this pop up. This should be blank. What I want you to do is copy and paste the script that I have in the description below. Remember to change the cores and number of cores your processor has. If you have no clue how many cores you have, a simple Google search of your CP will tell you. For me, I have eight cores, so I would put eight. And make sure your directory for the plugin path is correct. So if you have a 64 bit, you should be fine. If you have a 32 bit, just simply erase this part right here, the 86, and you should be good. Now you want to click on new and you want to save the preset. Save the preset. You would name it, well, just name it 60 FPS for now. So click OK. Now you want to head over to the extra setup. And you want to make sure this is checked. Prefer DSS2 over direct show source. If this is grayed out, I want you to close Magui. And there should be a file that I provided that's called the Mastro the Mastrovska Splitter. I think that's what I say it. Whatever. Install that. Yes, I agree it should install. I already have this. No need for me to proceed but it should be really simple after you press I agree. So after that's installed, you want to go back into Magui. And you want to press Control R again. Go back into config. And go back into extra setup. You should be able to check preferred DSS2 now over direct show source. So check that, press OK. Now what you want to do now is import a video. Oh yeah, keep note to make sure the file name for the video is not anything foreign such as Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, etc. For example, this right here, it's in Japanese. Because if you do that, if you have a file name in a foreign language, you will run into an error. So a file name has to be in English. Has to be in English. No special characters either. Brackets, parentheses, periods, commas, etc. Just plain alphabet letters and numbers. For the sake of this tutorial, I will use, let's see what I have. So I can't use these. I think I have one on my desktop already. Let's see where is it at. So after you select the video you want to convert, you have this pop-up saying, please choose your preferred way to open this file. And you'll see one click encoder, file indexer, and direct show source. The one you want to choose is direct show source. So after you click that, it should load, and uh, you'll get this. You'll get a preview screen. Once you see this, you should be good. You just got to close this. After that, you want to click on save. You'll get another preview screen. That's fine. Just close that. And then you want to set a video output for this. Let's. I'll put it on my desktop too, but let's rename it to 60 FPS like that after that you should be that's pretty much it you just press on Q and this should start the conversion should take place right after you click on Q so this will take me about um, I say about 30 minutes so I'll cut this part out and um, I'll see you guys in a bit so I just finished my conversion if you're still waiting, just sit back and relax because conversion time may vary based on your computer specification. So go watch some TV, play some Pokemon Go, or go outside for a bit in the meantime. 
That's what I did. Went to go run a couple errands. So once that's done converting, you're pretty much good to go. So double check if it's really 60 FPS. You can just right click the file output, go to properties, go to details, and you just see the frame rate should be about 59. That should be good. Press OK. Let's let's check it out. Wait, what? The video. M the video. It doesn't have any sound or subtitles in it. Well, this is the next part. This always happens after you convert a video to 60 FPS. So let's get out of here. Now you want to go inside the folder called MKV Tool Nix. Go in here. Now you want to open up the program MKV Tool Nix GUI. Right click that, run as admin, remember. And you'll get this, right? So what I want you to do now is you click the plus at source file. You want to select the 60 FPS converted video as a source. And then for the next one, you want to add another source file. And that'll be the the original, the raw one. Do that. And there you go. Make sure these are all checked. And as simple as that, you just press start mixing. Mixing, I mean. <laughs> And there you go. See? The sound now. It should be pretty fast too. The conversion it shouldn't take more than ten seconds. Yeah, for me it was like it was like an instant. And this will give you the final product. Let's, let's go to a cool scene. Where's that at? Cool, right? <laughs> Alright, sorry. I got kind of carried away. A lot more complicated than Supreme GUI, right? Eh. They both give you the same result, though. Actually, wait, my GUI sometimes might give you better results. In some cases, for interframe GUI, after converting a video, you might see some tearings and rarely some frame inconsistencies. Well, this concludes the tutorial, guys. I hope this helps and solve most of your problems. If you still run into any problems, please do not hesitate to ask. I will answer back hastily and promptly. Just look at the amount of comments I replied back in the previous 60 FPS conversion tutorial. As always, thank you for watching. Enjoy watching your movies, anime, Hentai <coughs> in glorious 60 FPS. If you liked it or hated it, you know what you gotta do. And if you want any more tutorials like this, um, suggest some. Cause uh, I, I could get tutorials such as Photoshop, After Effects, Sony Vegas, etc. Anything. I'm I'm actually pretty okay at with these programs. If you want more cool content like this, sub. Cozy out. Time for me to play some video games.